The historic core of Amsterdam remains much the same today as when it was first laid out back in the 1600s. That was Holland's golden age, when Dutch merchant ships made this the world's richest city. Amsterdam's touristy main drag, Damrak, was once the main canal. Today it connects the train station with the city's main square and the royal palace. From this spine, the city opens like a fan with hundreds of bridges and a series of concentric canals. Wealthy merchants built this city upon millions of wooden pilings, creating a wonderland of canals lined with trees and townhouses crowned with fancy gables. Traditional bridges, like this one which crosses the Amstel River, were built with a clever counterbalance. They were fine-tuned, and bridge keepers bragged they could raise and lower one with a single finger. The city's founders built a dam on the Amstel back in the 13th century. The community that gathered here was named for that Amstel Dam, eventually Amsterdam. This is where the river hit the sea. From here, boats could sail into the interior of Europe and out to the rest of the world. Dutch merchant ships would sail right up the main canal, loaded down with material delights, silks, spices, and porcelain from faraway lands. Amsterdam's port is still huge, but it's being transformed from a gritty industrial area into a vibrant, modern, and very livable district. A striking film museum and art cinema is bringing new life to this now revitalized neighborhood. You can hop on a free shuttle ferry to see this evolving district, or you can cruise a different way by joining the hedonists and tourists on Amsterdam's many canals. Surprising to me, anyone can hire one of these electric boats for a little independent exploring. Then we'll get into the... For some help with the navigation, I'm joined by my friend and fellow tour guide, Rolinka Blooming. Tell me about the difficulty of building here. Well, the soil is very swampy. So everything you see, Rick, all the houses, all the bridges, and the walls of the canals are built on wooden pilings. It's actually oak wood, and it comes from the Black Forest in Germany. We have about 100 canals, and they were all dug out in the 17th century entirely by hand. It took them about 30 years. The most important one was the Gentleman's Canal, Herengracht. And then there's the Emperor's Canal, Keizersgracht. Okay. And then there's the Prinsen Canal. This has got to be the most beautiful canal in town. It's my favorite canal, Rick. So what is this neighborhood called? It's called the Jordan, this area. It's got to be the most characteristic part of Amsterdam. Oh, today right? it's one of the most popular places to live. Beautiful. The characteristic Jordan district offers a quiet slice of Dutch urban life. Built in the 1600s for warehouses and to house workers, it's now home to artists and inviting little restaurants and cafes. While just a few blocks from the busy center, the Jordan feels like another world. Everything's in its place, and life seems very good. <laughs> 